6.30. So we've just left Middle Percy. We we're on our way to High Peak Island, trying to just crimp our way down the coast a bit. Um, we're trying to stay away from the mainland as best we can. Of course, the tide difference here is the highest in New South, in um, the east coast of Australia, I think. So the currents are just crazy. So we're trying to stay out as far as we can. This is the side of sailing that you don't normally see, trying to get somewhere, beating into the wind, shit conditions, leaking roof, not on the head. Honestly, you don't get any shittier than that. But that's sailing. Just pulling up at Hexham Island. We have had a shit of a run, haven't we, mate? Oh, it's been terrible. Oh no, it's been exhausting anyway. It's just the currents. Yeah, current, flaky winds. Yeah. It's only morning, it's early, it's about 6.30. And here's a familiar face, we've got Troy and Nui coming up. Here they are. Pieces. Yeah. And then, I and then just he throws throw it in my bloody stew it the... and it sucks. Ah. You cook it and it goes a bit softer. Yeah. But I just make little, so it's like small chunks. Yeah, okay. How's yeah. your coconut? Delicious. Delicious. Oh. Fairy floss. <laughs> Fairy floss. <laughs> Fairy floss. I think it's called candy. I think they oh, call candy. It. That's it. They call I it candy. They call it. Candy floss. Yeah, I think they call it coconut candy. I want more candy. That's nice. Our plan so far <laughs> is this. So 10 a.m., 0.09 current. So that's Tuesday at 10, 270 degrees, 13 knots, 90, that's at easterly, 18 knot gusts. That's Sweet. perfect, right? Sweet. And then, so that's our, that's our steps along the way. One, two, three, four, five. Where do you think we'll actually land up to? I, I think we'll be back at Early. We'll be at North East. Yeah. <laughs> these, are, these are the masterminds that... We'll be, we'll yeah. be miles out. <laughs> yeah. Plan is, yeah, trip planning. Trip planning. Yeah, planning. Yeah, wind got current, all. tide, yeah. maximum wind. Okay. And it'll still go to shit. Massive calculations <laughs> going on over here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I reckon that's it. Do you want to look at anything else? No. We're here at um, Hexham Island. We were heading to uh, high peaks, but the wind was more favourable to get here. So so we've made it to Hexham, and it's a really beautiful island. There's uh, these rock formations here, they're called the cathedrals. Can't get it out a bit because the tide's running out. I don't think so. <laughs> James Bond, <laughs> Ursula Andress. <laughs> Totally delusional. It's a water good. <laughs> it is beautiful. This is so nice here. I'm glad we got stuck here. Amazing. Drive along the road anywhere you get. Is the wind going to blow it over? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. So show me what you built, Richard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 It's miniature it's three. GP. Three. Funny now, it just keeps getting nicer, doesn't it? You never run out of lovely things to do. Oh, it's a bit nippy there. <laughs> well, 
if only you could smell it. And that is all bird poo on those rocks. Anyway, we're just coming into Harvey Bay Marina. Looks pretty big. Looks pretty cool. We are watching um, boats leave from. Have you got the ropes ready? Yep. What side do you want them on? Few drinks. Anyway, we're just made. Oh no, I don't drink and drive. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look out the front. Let's see what this. Yeah. Oh, still not done No, I finished. You have? I have finished. Yeah. Okay. Say full stop. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look out the front. Just gonna get down here. Gives you a better idea what it really is. Oh, like here. Jesus. <laughs> it is rough. <laughs> it is rough. <laughs> and we've just had a little chat here in the cabin. <laughs> but it is uh, it's rough. It's straight on and really sharp and short. And that's the sharp and short is the worst you can have. We hate it. You're like long and rolly. This is rubbish. Well, we've um, weathered the horrible weather. And we've just turned into Tin Pan Bay, so it's calming down a bit. Just just on sunset. Pretty beautiful. So we've got um, probably about nine miles up to Tin Pan Bay where we'll anchor for the night. So we'll anchor in the dark, but we've been there before, so we're pretty comfortable with where it is. Off to see the dolphins, we're going to hand feed them. Hopefully, that's if they turn up. Yeah, they'll turn up. talking at the moment. I don't know if any of you grew up with uh, Flipper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who thought the sound came out of his mouth? Me. I did. I, I only learned when I was over 50, when I started working here, that they actually make it out of their blowhole. So if their blowhole opens and closes very quickly and that's how they make their sound. Well, playful activities. Um, we can't do anything, but we just monitor them. So we can take photos. We did have Harmony, one of our other dolphins. He had some very significant marks um, probably last year. And it was borderline looking infected. So we were talking to the vets at SeaWorld just to see if there potentially needed to be intervention. But one thing is, we've noticed, they can heal incredibly well. <laughs> In fact. <laughs> He's having a smile, guys. Smile for the camera. It's called... It's a big dolphin. Is that Carmony? Oh, is it? Is that Carmony? Yeah. No. Who is it? Is that Carmony? Oh, who looks different? Sorry. Who's going first? Yeah. Okay, so hold your hand out flat. Grab the tail, leave the head exposed and straight under the water for me. Joe. Yeah. Joe. 
Thank you so much, guys. Thank I you. hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Thank you. Well, that's when I'm being Mr. Moon. <laughs> there you go, let's not. Yep. Oh, he's taking a look at that. Right under the water Well, we just fed the dolphins, which was a pretty, pretty nice experience. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, it literally was wild, wasn't it? Well, they are wild. They dolphins. swam in and yeah. took fish. Yeah. So anyway, we're just going to head back to the boat. These jelly blobs are amazing. You have a look; they're just uh, floating by the boat. Well, they're the same many of them. I don't know whether you can see up there, wind's blowing a bit strange angle, but they've got their Aussie flag on upside down. We're just letting them know. This is the Australian Volunteer Coast Guard. Tony's doing his civic duty. which is down the end of Gari or Fraser Island. So, um, White Bay Bar's on the other side of that sand stick. So this is where all the boats, uh, sorry, where all the four-wheel drive guys and gals jump on the uh, barge and head over to Fraser Island for however long they want to be there for. Just going for a little paddle. Um, just over to this little island over here. 